Good morning all. This is my sensor display. The sensors are in the shed and it's got a radio in the shed to transmit the data to this receiver which has OLEDs and displays temperature and humidity. And yes, for those people that keep asking, why are these two data fields the same? Well, they are. They're the same. It's the same data. And if you're thinking, why is it 90% humidity in the shed? Well, we're having a horrible summer and it's raining all the time. Now, I understand that the AT Mega 328P, an 8-bit microcontroller, is a bit old, it's a bit clunky, and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. And therefore, if I'm going down the IoT route, and I kind of am, Internet of Things, I should be thinking more about the ESP32. So I dug this ESP32 module out the other day. It's actually a do-it ESP32 dev kit version one and I installed all the board manager stuff all the board descriptions into my Arduino IDE and I managed to get this to run the blink program should we have a look at that right so let's put some power on this from a power bank and watch it do its thing and there it is blinking blue light so yeah blinky runs on the esp32 so that's the first step but what if i want to take this a bit further and kind of go down this route with displays and sensors my next step really would be to get an oled to run on the esp32 so here's an oled it's a uh, 120 uh, 128 by 64 pixel OLED. So how do I connect that to the ESP32 and make it do something? Well, I went to Google and I typed in ESP32 I squared C and there was some useful information. And probably the most useful piece of information that's come up, even without going to a website, is that SDA is on GPIO21. I believe it is, and SCL is on GPIO 22. Well, perhaps that's all I need to know. Now, if I remember rightly, these OLEDs work on both 5 volts and or 3.3 volts. So if I, if I connect this up onto pins on here, um, which will be 3.3 volts ground, and these two GPIOs, can I make the OLED work? Well, let's get some wires. So here's a four-way DuPont. Let's connect that onto here. Uh, I'll make purple VCC because it's about the closest thing I've got to red. So purple is VCC, uh, gray is ground, white is SCL, black is SDA. So let's take a look at the pins on this ESP32. And we have got right at the uh, left hand side at the bottom 3v3 and ground. And if we come over to the other side, you can see that you've got D21, RX0, TX0, D22. So are 21 and 22 the I squared C pins? Well, let's assume they are. So let's connect VCC and ground onto these two end pins. 3V3 and ground. Uh, now what was white? White was SCL. SCL is 22. Oh, so white goes over to there. And black crosses over and goes to there. So that's it. What happens if I plug this in? Will it explode? Uh, well, nothing happens, it doesn't explode, but of course this just carries on running blinky. So now I need to put together a sketch which drives an OLED. So let's do that. Let's go over to Arduino IDE. Now, while I'm still here, this is my search for ESP32 I squared C. And the first one that comes up is Random Nerd Tutorials. And you can see here, even without clicking on it, I have clicked on it because it's purple. Uh, SDA is GPIO 21, SCL default is GPIO 22. Now, if you go into this article, there's another link 
uh, to another article that tells you how to install all the board manager uh, stuff for the ESP32. I'll put links to both of these random nerd tutorials in the description below this video. So this is my code for the uh, display using the AT Mega 328P, uh, the Arduino Nano. And out of this, what I need is this include for the U8X8 lib, uh, this constructor call for the uh, SSD 1306-128x64 no-name hardware I2C and I give the object the name OLED 78. I don't need the 7A one because I've only got one OLED. I will need an OLED 78 begin and a set font. I'll use that font. And I will need an OLED 78 set cursor to 00. That's the top left of the OLED. And print something. So this is what I've come up with. And it's this. It's the include the UX88, uh, sorry, U8X8 lib. That's the Oli Klaus uh, graphics library for lots of different displays. Constructor call, OLED78 is my object. In setup, I begin that object. That just initializes a whole load of stuff, including the uh, 78 address. You don't need to specify that because it's the default. And I set a font, and then in loop, I set the cursor to the top left hand side of the OLED and I print millis, which is just a counter. I assume millis is implemented in the ESP32 uh, in much the same way as it is in the uh, AT Mega. So let's compile that and upload it to the ESP32 and see what happens. Press the button, compiling sketch, it takes an absolute age on this PC. Uh, particularly when I'm running OBS, so I will come back when that's more further advanced. And uh, when I say more further advanced, I suppose what I really mean is working. So yeah, that works. That was pretty straightforward. Uh, just connecting this to 3v3 ground SCL SDA. Stick a bit of copied code in, and it's doing the count. That second digit there is essentially one count per second because that's thousands on here and that's millis inside this. No idea how millis is implemented. I mean, I know in the um, AT Mega 328 it's on timer zero. It's obviously on one of the timers in here, but I don't know much about the uh, hardware inside the ESP32. But yeah, that's working. So where do we go next? Do we go to a sensor? temperature and humidity, which is my kind of thing. So this is counting up. How do you reset this thing? There's two buttons on here, boot and enable. Is it boot? No, it doesn't appear to be. Is it enable? Oh yes, that's it. That started back at zero. Let's try that again. Enable. Yeah, that definitely works as a reset button. Um, okay, so let's find a sensor. In fact, I've got just the thing, I believe. Do you remember this? This is um, a little OLED and SI7021 temperature and humidity sensor munged together because the uh, four pins happen to be in the same sequence, V in, ground, SCL, SDA. So I simply attached the sensor so the top of the display is rather good, isn't it? In fact, if I've got a nine volt battery somewhere, I can probably fire that up. Let's try this one. Oh, red lights come on. But that's all that happened. Probably find all these batteries are flat, actually. Let's try this one. That one appears to be flat. What about this energizer one? Oh, that's working. So, oh, two fancy fonts on here, 75% humidity. Oh, that's fading out. Oh, that battery's flat as well. Well, anyway, it worked. Uh, it's reading on I2C the temperature and humidity sensor, and it's writing the results to the OLED. Now, that very handily is on a little connector, so I can take that off, and I can put it in here. In fact, I'll do that right now with the power on, which is very naughty, I know. 
It's VCC ground, isn't it? Yeah. And if I press the enable pin, which works as a reboot, that should work for the millis. But what I really want to do now is read either temperature or humidity and write that to the display. So I've got to look at the code, I think, for the transmitter of this, because that's the thing that's reading the SI7021, and steal a bit of code out of there. Let's do that. So I think what I need from this is an include I squared C SI7021.h. Uh, the constructor call, I call the object Simon. That was pretty stupid. Uh, then a Simon initialize in setup and then a Simon get humidity and don't I think this is where it dumps it so I could do a print Simon get humidity that might work should we try that so do we think this will work I've added in the include what's the difference does anyone know between using the braces here uh, around the name and using quotes. Does it make any difference? Is there some subtle difference? I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, SI7021 uh, sensor, I've called the object sensor. Uh, sensor initialize and then print sensor get humidity. So is that gonna work? Well, let's find out. Let's upload that to the uh, ESP32 and see if it works. Oh, it didn't like that. Uh, no matching function for call to SI7021 get humidity. Okay, let's restructure it slightly. Well, that was a struggle. Uh, I had to switch to the Adafruit SI7021 library because the one I was using just didn't work. I don't know why. I kept getting compilation errors. So I've got an include, a constructor call, sensor begin in setup, and print read a sensor read temperature in my loop and it's working so here it is uh 21.4 degrees in here and if i put my hand near the sensor the temperature goes up because my hand is warm i presume so yeah that's certainly uh working it's reading the sensor now of course the sensors are being powered with 3.3 volts now not five but I believe that is actually a 3.3 volt sensor. And on the back, there is some level shifting. I think there's a regulator and level shifting MOSFETs, but of course they're not doing much. Uh, but it does seem to work at 3.3 volts. So yeah, that's the OLED and the SI7021, both working on an ESP32. Uh, well, I think that's enough for today. So cheerio.